Hello everyone, and welcome to another crossword song. Uh, I'm going to have another crack at uh, the, the cryptic crossword from Simply Daily Puzzles. Um, and this is my usual disclaimer of audio problems. So I had a, a go at fixing the audio problems I had last time, and I've made it worse. And the microphone I used uh, picked up some weird interference most of the way through the video. Um, so there's like lots of buzzing sounds, but you can still hear what I'm saying, so I thought I'd still edit together the video and put it out, so enjoy. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my uh, cryptic crossword solve video series. Uh, I'm going to have another go at one of these. So this is the uh, 24th of September. And um, uh, this one, I've actually already taken a look at some of these, um, but I didn't have very long to look at it. Um, I, I've actually solved a couple in advance, so I'll just go through the um, the uh, wordplay and how they work, and then I'll carry on with the puzzle because I've only looked at about, uh, I think I looked at about five or six clues, and I think I solved three of them. So we'll do those ones quick, um, and then we'll get into the actual actually solving it live-ish. Uh, so the first one, uh, I, I found this one. Uh, one down. Oh yeah, also I'm not going to bother with the timer this time uh, because uh, last time something went wrong with it and it kept, it was, it was ticking very slowly so it, the t it said it was only like an hour and a half but it was actually almost two and a half hours. So um, yeah, I'm just not going to bother. I'll just work it out afterwards. Um, yeah, so first one I found was this one here, uh, one down. Uh, drink made no tipsy. So um, I thought about this word tipsy and I was thinking maybe that might be like an anagram indicator because they uh, they use those sort of words a lot to mean it's an anagram, you know. And then I noticed the two words in the middle are eight letters. So I thought, okay, maybe it's a drink which is an anagram of made Noel, Noel, Noel. Um, after a bit of thinking, I realized it's a lemonade. Lemonade. Yeah, that's uh, made Noel mixed up. So that's that was quite an easy one, and it didn't take too much thinking about. Um, this uh, one, oops, sorry. one across um, took a bit longer to work out. Um, but I did manage to get it. It was, um, what, what got me was, I was looking at this cold area in pub, and there's also this I'm amused about, so there's, there's lots of little wordplay bits, and I was trying to, I pieced them together a little bit, and I thought, okay, cold, I know can be, um, Abbreviated to C, like on taps, H and C, you know, hot and cold. Uh, and area can be abbreviated to A. So now I was thinking, probably got a C A in the middle. It begins with an L. And I, I think I just put in like a C A there. And then thought, oh, is that local? Uh, as in, you know, your local pub, you'll just call it your local. Uh, so a pub could be a local. Um, I mean, this took me probably about 10 minutes to work, of, of playing around with things. And then I realized what's left after with the C and the A. L-O-L. -L, lol. I'm amused. You know, which uh, you'd never get that in the Times crossword uh, using a you know, slang abbreviation. Well, internet slang. Uh, but yeah, so I got that one. Uh, I didn't get three down. Uh, what was the other one? There was another one I found. Was it this one down here? No, it was. I thought it was down in the. This one, yeah. Horrible bra came undone. Uh, again, I looked at it and thought, undone might be an anagram indicator again, because they they use almost anything to mean that it's an anagram. And I was thinking we've got seven letters here. And uh, that one is, what was this? I've actually forgotten what the answer was. It's horrible. Oh, uh, macabre. 
Mac. Oh. Is this working? No. Um. There. Yeah, it's an anagram. Uh, horrible. And I think that was the only three that I got um, around lunchtime. Uh, so I looked at this for about about 20 minutes and I managed to get these three. Um, I, I had a feeling about this one. A tree that's, a tree that's cared about. It's uh, there's something there again. It, I, uh, what I'm looking at is uh, we already have a load of anagrams. And I don't know if just that it begins with a C, and we've got cared, which is five letters beginning with a C, and uh, what tree? I'm tr I'm trying to think of five letter trees. With those letters beginning with a C. Oh, I've got it. Yes, it's it's cedar. Cedar is a anagram. S C E D A R. Cedar. Yes, I think that looks. Um, it feels right that. It's the only thing that I can think of that works. But I wonder if that's right. I think that's right. It looks good to me. Because we have... I don't think it's cared about. That just doesn't sound... The fact that all you've got is cared, you know, another short word, five letters meaning cared, you know, um, and I'm thinking just ab about, it just, yeah, it feels right. So, and then the fact that I then, I've actually worked out, a, a, yeah, I think that's right. Um, bottle never cracked. What have we got there? NR. Cracked. Now. Is this, I'm like, how many anagrams have we got here? Is this another anagram? Because I feel like cracked could be an anagram indicator. Is this, oh, well, I mean, that one's not an anagram. Uh, and what's this one? Oof. Must. Never cracked. Bottle never cracked. The fact that we've got two letters that are in the word never, and I've I think I've, I've seen cracked. Oh, bottle. Oh, um, nerve, nerve, nerve. Like, uh, yeah, if you've lost your bottle, you lost your nerve. I was thinking, I, my, my thought was, that's not a bottle, it's just too obvious. And then, yeah. Um, yeah, that's good. Right, we're doing good up in this corner. I was looking at, this was the one I, I spent most time looking at, and I can't work out, what are we looking at here? So we've got pop, pop star having celebration with heavenly food brought, brought round. Brought round. So is that like a word meaning brought around? What we'll could go there? M like M A D M E D M M yeah like M E D as a uh pop star. Having celebration Celebration with heaven, heavenly, now, wait a minute, heavenly food, are we talking about 
manna, like manna from heaven. Oh, yes. Is it Madonna? If we had M A and then the N N A from there, and then what have we got left? Do 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 the part uh, celebration is a do. Yes, okay. Madonna. Yes, that's good. That's all of it. Yes. So it's um, celebration do with heavenly food, which is manna brought around it. And all together, it's a pop star of Madonna. Okay, this is looking nice. Okay. Old soldiers dance. Now, one thing is, it's not an anagram. <laughs> uh, it's the first one that isn't an anagram. So, old... Whoa. Old soldiers, like veterans or something like dance. Soldiers dance. And what's the old about? Now, old a lot of the time is abbreviated to O, but then the problem with that is you would need the O to be up here, really, because it, it would have to go first, if you don't have anything telling you where to put it, then it would have to be in the order. So it would have to be like, oh, and then something meaning soldiers. So it's not, so maybe it means old. Is there a word meaning old? That's tough, actually. That's a really tough one. Because it's so short, old soldiers dance. No idea. I'm going to have to leave that one, I think. Ooh. Bashful about a couple of bishops. That's contemptible. Hmm. Bashful. It's contemptible. Which way round does this go? Now we've got the about again here. So I'm thinking this is, might be a word meaning bashful around a couple of bishops. Well, bishops... Um, can be abbreviated to B. So if, if it's a, a couple of bishops, it might be two Bs. Bashful. Shy is a short word for bashful. Shabby, shabby. yes, shabby. Because yes, shy, S H A, that's A, couple of bishops, B B Y, yes. I was like putting it together in my head and I was trying to work out if it was actually a word. It's like, good thing I got that A actually. I probably wouldn't have n thought of that. Um, yeah, I say it was like, I was, I was still saying it in my head like shy, but yeah, but it's sh yeah, shabby. That's good. So that's, yeah, so that's like three that I've done couple of minutes it's looking good if possible attend to some animal sound Oof. <laughs> if possible some mm, attend to some animal sound I mean, I'm thinking an animal sound that begins with B might be a bleat. Um, like a sheep. What's wrong with this thing? Where does it... Is that... Hmm. If possible. Why would that be if possible? Tend to some and oh wait 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 no no it's not I was gonna say 
some animal, like when you have some. No, no, here it is. I can see it. Yes, it is there. Bleat. Um, when you have some, a lot of the time, that's an indicator that it's a hidden clue. Uh, it's, and the word bleat is hidden in the words possible attend. B-L-E-A-T. Okay, I almost missed that. On, on my last one, I missed about four of these. And in the end, I, I was getting the answers without understanding what the clue meant. And then going back on it, I realized that it's just hidden in the clue. So, right, that's good. All right. Uh, got a lot of letters building. What's this one over here? Block request for woven material. Block request. Like deny, but for yeah, but it's got the M there. No, I'm re yeah, I was, I, that that was one I worked out before, and I'm pretty sure that's that's right. So I mean, deny is too short anyway. But then, um, oh, is it some? Oh, is it gonna be the name of a material? Is there a word, there's a material called, is it damask or something like that, damask? Very strange. When, I just want to use the keyboard and it sometimes just blocks me out. Is that a fabric? And um, block would be mask. But then... Request D A D. That's that's how it's spelled. But then why is that block request? I kind of like it just because it kind of fits. Let's see about this one. This, so this is the. Old soldiers dance. What is that? For some reason I had the word lunges come to mind, but why would that be old soldiers dance? Oh, but it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit anyway. What am I, what am I talking about? Hmm, yeah, the S might not be correct if I've got the wrong material. Um, I'll move on. I won't spend too long on that. I'll see if I can come back. What have we got here? Some other interesting ones. This one begins with C. In the center of San Francisco, Michael Palin's amusing. Wow. Oh, it is another hidden, I think, com comic. Yes. So it's amusing is comic. Uh, and, it's, and in the center, I don't know. I mean, is it actually in the center, I wonder? Or, if, I mean, it's in the middle, definitely. It's here. I wonder if that is actually the right number of letters either way. I wonder if they worked that, that out. Comic. Cool. Yes, that's good. Um, Nineteen down. Roman god penning English horses. I mean, Mars is a Roman god penning. Yes, um, mares. Yes, it's. Um, so it's Mars, like that, penning, E for English, Mars. <laughs> Whew, warning when first couple have left room. That's really 
weird. I don't know. I have no idea what that could be. Okay, let's see what this one is. 22 down. Disney characters seen from low altitude. Disney character. What is that? Disney characters seen from low altitude. No, oh, that's, that's really got me there. Um, Turncoat's first motive for disloyalty. Turn, oh, that's really interesting because we've got Turncoat and disloyalty. Is it going to be... I remember we had something before where... where uh, what is the word midnight? But we we're after the middle of the word night, even though it was one word, it was like a clue in itself. I wonder if turn coat. Do we have to turn a coat around? Hmm. Slowing down a bit now. Now I've gone through some of the easier ones on the left. Oh, 17 down. Okay, we've got a C in it. Man with Q getting break. Displays keen perception. Maybe keep looking around to see if there are any more I can get. Almost 24. Expressions of discontent, say, in manuscript. I think I need to... Oh, I've got another one here with, which I haven't looked at with a letter in it. So this one ends in an E. An insect, say, not very bright, ascending. Okay, so I'm guessing it's, if it's ascending, maybe it's backwards. So is it an insect? Is the answer an insect? And then it's not very bright, reverse. No, these are tricky. Pig accepting messy home in a way. I mean, I'm thinking of pig sty, but... Right. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, I've got it, I've got it, right. Here's how I put it together. I th we've got pig accepting. So accepting is always used to mean um, like one word inside another word. So pig will be the outside word and it'll be accepting inside it messy home. So I was going off, I was, my, um, I was getting distracted by right? the first letter is S and there's like pigs mentioned and messy homes I'm thinking pigsty. It's nothing to do with that. So I realised that if pig is accepting the messy home, the pig has to be on the outside. So it has to mean, it has to be a pig, a, a word for a pig beginning with S, which is going to be a sow. Um, so then I'm thinking, how can I mess up? And then I thought, okay, well, four letters left. Messy home. Messy is an anagram indicator. So you anagram up home, put it inside sow, and you get some, it's not writing, why is it not writing, it never, somehow. So we got, not, it doesn't really matter which O comes from some at home and which is from the sow, but yeah, that's sow with home being messed up. Okay, another one, excellent, this is going pretty well so far. So now we've got the start letter. We're not very bright ascending. Is it going to be a word meaning not very bright? We're backwards. No, we have to leave that one, I think. Uh, four letters beginning with W. Hmm. 
pale old penny that's used by a magician. Pale. Yep, one, but that would be three letter. Old. Old penny. I wonder if that's got a D in it. Wand. Ah, oh, yeah. So, W A N is the word meaning pale, and then old penny. The um, the abbreviation was D. Um, so, pound shillings and pence. Ooh. Haven't looked at this one yet. Nine across. Traced, tried, and taken out. No, tra is that no tied? Traced. Tied and taken out. I'm really, wow, I'm struggling to work out what to do with this. No, I don't know. Uh, let's try six down. Do I look at this one yet? Oh, here's a new one. Cheer for revolution in Tehran. Is it going to be an anagram of Tehran? Things are both, we've got the T and the H in there. Revolution in Tehran, maybe I'm thinking it's like, it just means an anagram. A lot of the time I would kind of think revolution might mean to reverse it, but that won't fit. It's not reversing. So it would be cheer. What would that be then? Is it going to be something like a heart? H. Hearten? Let me fill in. H E A R T E N. Is that right? What that is? So if you cheer, you heart it, you know. H E A R T E N. I think that, that fits. You got another letter for this weird one. What was it? Trace, yeah. Traced, tied, and taken out. No, that's weird. I'm going to have to leave that for a bit and come back to it. So we've got some difficult ones here. So we've got Old Soldiers Dance, which I I don't get that at all. Don't know if it's a dance. Don't know if it's old. Don't know if it's Old Soldiers. It's just three words, which makes it quite tricky. Uh, yeah, then we've got um, this one. An insect, say, not very bright ascending. There's so many bits to this clue, and it's only five letters, it makes it very difficult. And this one, this is kind of the opposite, but there's just nothing to go on to me. Um, yeah, oh, we'll carry on, see how much further. What, what was this one down here? Did I look at this? Oh, yeah, warning when first couple have left room. Hmm. Now, a word that came to mind was amber, which I'm thinking like an amber light. Um, is like a warning light. Why would that be? Warning when first couple have left room. Don't know why that would be that. Uh, generally just the le two letters I've got, length of the word and the word warning kind of feels good, but the rest of the clue makes no sense to me. First couple, I mean, that's going to be like Adam and Eve, but... Or is it going to be Adam and Eve? I mean, or is it going to be something like first, first couple of letters, A and B? 
No, I don't. I don't like that because it just it's just not enough, really. What's this one across the bottom? Turncoat. Yeah. Turncoat's first motive for disloyalty. Oh, I almost said it before. Well, not not say it, but I almost had. I almost gave me the clue. I was saying about the word first in here. I was thinking first motive. Is that going to be the first letter of motive? No, it literally says turncoats first, as in the first letter of turncoat, which is a T. And what's a motive? It's a reason, and that's disloyalty. <laughs> Treason. That was actually really quite easy. I, I couldn't see it. Okay, what now? Now we've got this ending in T. Disney characters seen from low altitude. <sighs> it's another hidden. Seen from low altitude. What letters have we got here? W A L T Walt Disney. Now we have got an A. Are there any other are there any other words that are A something, B something, R that is not amber? Arbor. Now I was thinking about the first couple of letters being A and B, but there, and there's a gap. It's A B R. So the other letters is M. E. I kind of like amber just because of what I said. The warning, uh, you know, it's used for warning lights. Amber, and it fits with the with the letters we've got. No idea. Uh, I'm gonna leave it for now, and I'll come back to it. Um, let's see what have we got here. Okay. Man with a cue, getting break, displays keen perception. Hmm. What is the getting break all about? No. That's annoying. Got a couple more words, but not, nothing I can do with it. Um, I haven't, I don't think I've looked at all these. Inexperienced environmentalist. Know that one, green. If you're in green, you're inexperienced. If you're green, you're an environmentalist, or you know, environmentalists are green. Okay, that's good. That's a nice, quick one. Quick. Oh, what a new one! I didn't look at this one. Staff going round gallery showing what Turner did. Hmm. So we've got something like going round, so that might be gallery. I mean, what can you say about gallery? Showing what Turner did. I'm thinking, does this going round mean that it's like a word for staff? Going around a word meaning gallery. The problem is, what can you say about gallery? Showing what Turner did. Okay, I'm gonna need some letters for this one. Um, we've got some across ones I haven't looked at yet as well. Not many. Oh, this was, yeah, expressions of discontent say in manuscript. Is it going to be something like 
is it going to mean expressions? And then you've got something meaning discontent in a word for a manuscript. Or is it going to be a manu... I feel like it might be a manuscript, the whole thing. It's another word for a manuscript. Like, um... So miss this one here, this big long one on the side. Hypocrite, taking pence before he accepts a pay increase. Hmm. And this one across, 26 across, thick poles in the river. Thick poles in river no so i just i feel like this one has to be okay i think have i now looked at every single one oh no actually i don't think i've done this one okay there's two i haven't looked at actually okay so let's look at this 15 across Tool found by architect in front of church. Hmm. If we didn't have that N, I would immediately think it was another hidden, just because. There's, yeah, there's too much clue for that. Front of church. It's a, f a word for the front of a church. Hmm. Tool. Found by architect. What's the architect all about? Architect. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just staring at it at the moment. I can't work out which way round this goes. Is it going to be the name of a tool? Or is it going to be a church? Is it going to be front of a church? I can't think of. Just kind of thinking about tools and thinking like plain. It has to be planes. That architect is really confusing me. I cannot work out what that is doing. Is there another word for an architect? Okay, let's go to the other one, uh, 20. So we've got a G in the middle of this one. Row or row um, against about head of government being an aggressive type. Head of government could be that G. This has got G. Row. They do like mixing them up because you've got the word row, which means, you know, argument, which is what this, like in this sentence is the way, the way you'd say it. But it's also the same uh, as row, as in, a, you know, a row of things. So is it going to be... I mean, the other thing, the other thing, um, like the head of government could be PM, but then Prime Minister. But where would that go? That's, I kind of feel like head of government is like, is the letter G, and that might be that one. I mean, fight is a row. And that fits, but why is that? Don't like that, even though, I mean, there's like an element of it fitting, but it's the rest of it just doesn't fit. I don't think it's fight. Yeah, I've hit the, I've hit the end here where I'm just not getting anything. No, 
now. I just thought something. Church can be abbreviated to CH. And then you could have. Oh, yes, it's Re it is Wrench. Yes. Christopher Wren was an architect in front of Church CH. Okay. God, that, that was a good one. Okay. Staff going round gallery showing what Turner did. Question mark. Staff, beginning with R. Uh, retinue? Ret How do you spell that? Is it like... Isn't that your staff? Isn't Turner in there? Sure. Hmm. That's interesting. There's like an anagram of Turner going on in there, but with an extra I. T U R N. That's really. It feels right. The fact that, like, like I said, we've got a word which means staff. We've got turn. Oh, there's no R. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, there are two R's in Turner. And there's only one in Retinue. Let's see if these letters fit with anything else. You know, aggressive type, could it be a tiger? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just my brain sort of threw up tiger. Tier, yes, tier is a row. T I E R, a round head of government G. Tiger, an aggressive type. Okay, I think I, I like that, and that's adding an extra letter to the. I, oh, what is that? This feels weird. I feel like this is right, but it, it kind of. There's a weird. There's a question mark at the end. Hmm, something weird and cryptic going on with this one. Uh, what about this one down here? Was, yeah, thick poles in river. No, I'm not going to better get that by staring at it. Um, oh yeah, manuscript thing. Expressions of discontent say in manuscript. Very annoying. Very, very annoying. Especially when you get more letters and then when you look, you still can't work it out. Did I look again at this one? I don't think I've got looked at this one while I had more letters. Hypocrite taking pence before he accepts a pay increase. Pay increase could be rise. I mean, except a pay increase might mean that the pay increase is inside another word. So I'm thinking, I wonder if we've got... Oh, wait a minute. I'm getting something here. I'm thinking it might be rise for the pay increase. Now we've got... For he accepts a... Is it Pharisee? Let 
regret now. <laughs> okay, I was thinking that's something like a biblical reference or something with nerves. Not okay, right, here's where I'm going for it. So, Pence, P. And then he is that, he um, accepts a pay increases, a rise. It's not quite right, though, is it? It's close. It seems really close there, but I'm not sure. Hypocrite. How do you spell? Okay. Was I actually was that on the money? Is it how do you spell Pharisee? C. Yeah, double E. Wait, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were, yeah, I think it, I think I did have it. I think it's like, P for the pence, but before he, yeah, yeah, he, so it's E-E -E on the inside. Where do I have that X, that S? It's, Yes, that's right, I think. So it's pen, P for pence, for he, which is that H and that E, accepts A, pay increase, A rise. Yeah, okay, that's good, that's nice. And what is this one now? Just need to take a short break. Okay, I'm back. Uh, what was I looking at? I was looking at this, yeah, expressions of discomfort in manuscript. This is weird. I don't quite get it at all how this goes together. Um, one more look at this one. Man with Q. Getting break. Displays keen perception. Plays keen perception. Getting break. Is it an anagram of the words man and Q? So what helps that I find is putting the letters in and mix them up. So maybe A at the beginning, act. Uh, there's no T, so act. Q. Men. Acumen. Wait. Yeah, man. Q getting break could be acumen. I like that. Oh, what's this? Manners? Oh, I mean, it's annoying because now I have all the letters ex <laughs> like that I'm going to get. There is, it feels like, I don't know, there might be... Expressions. Manners. It just doesn't fit at all, does it? It doesn't fit with any part of the clue. That does not fit. Uh, I feel like I just feel like the A just sort of fits right. Because otherwise it's going to be men. A T. Mum. Min. Uh, 
<sighs> this is not, yeah, I haven't got anything. And this one, yeah, so I've got this one. I've got all the letters that I'm going to get, and I don't know what to do. This one, I've got all the letters that I'm going to get, and I don't know what to do with that. This one, same again. What is that? Old Soldiers Dance. Old Soldiers. Lancers? It's not a dance, is it? Lancers? Lancers Dance. Oh! Oh, Lancers. Okay. I just saw, I looked it up. So I googled that. Um, Lancers, so the Lancers is a square dance variant of the quadrille. So it's like a 18th and 19th century dance. Okay. There's an answer. And that's like, yeah, so old soldiers. I think that is a rank, actually, a Lancer. Um, possibly, is that now an obsolete one? It's like from the cavalry. Cool, right. We're slowly wearing down these last few. An insect. Say, not very bright ascending. I mean, there's a mid. No. M I D D G. That's a, an insect. Not very bright. Ascending. Um, no, I don't think it's that, is it? Bright. Why, why would that be bright? Ick dim. No, oh, dim is not very bright. Oh, say, e.g. Oh, it is. It's midge. Yes. Okay. So... So, say not very bright would be e.g. dim, and then, yeah, ascending, midge, okay, yes, okay. Cool. What is this one? Traced, tied, and taken out. Drawn. Traced, that drawn. Tied, taken out. Yeah, is that three definitions of the word drawn? Tied. Yeah, because you're like, I think, I think it's drawn. Um, right, so I'm down to two, these last two here, and my brain cannot... Ah, uh, no. Have I got this wrong? Okay, what I'm going to do, before I give up, I'm going to do the check. Because it might be that I've got something wrong. Okay, and... Aha, okay, is I oh, have got retinue wrong. That's interesting. So... That is, I mean, I think that is a word, isn't it? I have, I mean, I didn't just completely... Yeah, retinue is like... Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you kind of, yeah, so anyway, but it's a different word. Okay, I mean, that's actually quite good. Because, okay, maybe I could think of some of these. What could these be, then? And I mean, that letter was wrong, so it definitely wasn't that. Okay. Expressions. Of discontent, say in manuscript. I mean, I feel like that has to be an R. Like moaners. <laughs> Hmm. 
I gotta have another go at this one. Cause staff, because I, I was never sure about it. It never looked quite right. Staff going round gallery, showing what Turner did. Now, a, a staff could be a rod going round gallery. What's gallery? The Tate Gallery. <sighs> rotated. Turner, rotated. Mutters. That's weird. What is that all about? I mean, it just feels like expressions of discontent might be mutters. Say in manuscript. Not sure. And what have we got here? Thick poles in river. River D. Thick, thick poles. That be. What could that letter be there? I wonder if it's... I'm thinking it could only be... Um... That letter could only be... Uh, I think it's got to be like a... No. Thick dunce. River pole. Oh, I I'm thinking, um, thick could be dunce. Poles, I mean, then I'd be, if it's north, then I'd be thinking it would be a size as well. And what's the river? River Dew? That's not right. It's something like... Dense. There it is. Dense. North-South. River D. North-South in the river. Uh, mutters. I don't quite get mutters, actually. But anyway, that, that was correct because it, it ended the puzzle. Expressions of discontent is mutters. Say in manuscript. Utter in manuscript is an MS. MS. Utter. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I got all of those now. I think that is everything. I don't think I don't think there are any that I didn't quite understand. It took me a while to get around to them. Some in some cases, but I'm actually pretty happy with that. Anyway, uh, 
hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I'll put some extra notes in this and do some editing. And uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye.